Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect 2. And I might look a little dewy. It's over 100 degrees in my room right now. That's bad. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. I didn't like where I was sitting on the webcam. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. I just warped her computer. Oops. Doop, 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 doop. Oh. Keep running. But, 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 but. Oh, it's only Mass Effect 3 where you can run for days. Come on, through here. We're almost at the- Hi, Miranda. Miranda. But you were- You're a jerk face. Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Is there an idea of due process? Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? <laughs> I'm never She's wrong. She's like, I'm never wrong. Sure I you are. I've learned that by now, Jake. <clears throat> you should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Probably. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Wait, actually, oh, uh, I'm not too trusting to, one, to ever but... see that oh, well. coming. Come on, I'm let's to grab the other one. And get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Of course it would. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Everything. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. <clears throat> Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Someone has survived. Can't leave survived. without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. No, they're not. <laughs> She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. But I'm not that... Okay, I'm that important because I'm the protagonist. Where are we going? Blinds. Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. And if I don't come along? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. It's got a point there. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? <laughs> what does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. You don't say! I've had enough of this station to well, last Well, according to Mass Effect 3, that was or his two, fault. in your case. Come on. No, or two, in your case. You used to be dead. <clears throat> Before you meet with the elusive man, I've got scars. we need to ask a few questions no, to evaluate no your condition. Scars. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the question. Two years? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. Ouch! And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Yep. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Mindwar. Well, no, you enlisted but yes. And you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? Yes. I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. Yes, I read yes, the report. I can. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda. That's satisfied. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. 
It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. Damn straight he did. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel, after the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Anderson joined the Council! Humanity was offered a spot on the Council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. Sorry, Anderson! Still, good to know that the human Council member isn't going to put politics ahead of defense. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. Aw, thank I you! Right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. God, it's so hot in this room, guys, you don't even know! It's over 100 degrees and I'm sweating like a stuck pig. It's not like I can record with him like a man is waiting for you in the other room. Ah, a little bit of Renegade. A lot of Paragon, though. There's Jacob. Jacob! I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Oh, fine. Be that way. Casual appearance. No. It's like they're all Cerberus stuff. I do want to wait, SR2. Eh, it doesn't say Cerberus, but eh, I'll just have to get something else. I'll just have to do Kasumi Goto's loyalty mission to get the awesome dress. Hello. Oh, sweat, sweat, sweat. Hot, 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 hot. Summer sucks. So, ooh. Hi there. Commander Shepard. <clears throat> Hi. I'm alive. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Uh, what do we know? What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. Reapers! That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. Oh, you're the just Reapers. flattering Good me. to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? You're not my friend. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You, you killed Admiral Koku! We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. Okay. You've bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Cerberus. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human They're colonies? They're harvesting them! Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. It's got a point there. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Eh, probably. <clears throat> um, Alliance aid. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. It's got a point there. Maybe I believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. Got a point there. <clears throat> I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress. 
the latest colony to be abducted. I suppose... Miranda and Jacob will brief you. We'll brief you. I'm supposed to trust them? Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Got a point there. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest. <laughs> but at least he's honest. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But Not first, according to the game. Go to Freedom's Progress. <clears throat> find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Good to know. <clears throat> <clears throat> and disconnected. <laughs> yeah, I got experience points. I can't have anything higher there, though, so... Bottic Mastery, I guess? Yes. Wait, what? I thought I had more than one! Where'd the other one go? Flabber. Okay, explanation time. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Thank you for resurrecting me. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I'd be dead otherwise. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We don't have to be enemies. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. What, that I like people? I believe people? in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Well, according to Mass Effect 3, I'm a huge liability. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost and everybody every way, died. really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Of course. Lazarus Project. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Like? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. I'm glad. He was glad. afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I'm glad he was in charge. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I want more than a resume. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Fine, where'd you train, Did you, you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? <coughs> no. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. She is it's such obvious a bitch. you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I don't like her. At least not in this game. I'm She's glad good the in elusive man me. convinced you to join us, Commander. Those colonists need my help. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Note. Right. Do you trust Noted. me, Commander? I am not sure. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. But that's not very nice. Do you know anything about Hating this people colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You in the Alliance. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. A Corsair? So you were a... something for a computer? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, uh -huh. we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. And joining Cerberus? Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. Uh, I thought things yeah. would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. 
When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Okay, that That's is a little bit now. better, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Damn straight. Except I'm not a ma'am. Level summary. I do like the whole level summary thing that we have in Mass Effect 2. It's a little bit more structured. Not that Mass Effect 1 wasn't structured, but nah, you, you'll get what I mean. It's more once a level is over, it's over, you don't go back. You don't have to spend forever farming. We should be well, there you do in a Shepard. different way. But. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Ha! 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 You're under my command! What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. That's not good. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Alrighty then. It makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new. At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Aha, uh -huh, someone can still be alive. first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colony. Of course colonies. we're gonna find people. were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another Sorry about ghost that, I just needed some kind of liquid because it's over 100 degrees in my room right now. And it's driving me a little crazy. Just, just a little crazy. So hot, warm, sweaty. Not in, not in a good way. I look angry. <laughs> I look a little angry. New weapon. Service groups provided additional weapons. Can I equip them? And doesn't look like it now. Um, I'm gonna give you this and that and that. Miranda, you can have service officer. I've got bullcrap. Oh, that's like creepy sound. Got up and left right in the middle of dinner. That's kind of how it happened. Hello? Hello, Bueller. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Everyone just vanished. Completely gone. I want this. Open. Oh, balls. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe they got re enabled here. Bonk, 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 bonk. Singularity. Stun! Aww, they think they're powerful, but then I singularity them, and then they die. A lot. Nope, but they were. Something's wrong. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Ha! I was correct! They're survivors! Ball safe, I need you. Ooh, medkit, I need you too. Ball safe. Um, one, two... One, two, one, two, and one, two. I like this method of hacking. So much better than the method from one. Okay. I can't ever decide if this one or Mass Effect 3 is my favorite, because I actually really like Mass Effect 3. Uh, nope! Allied force casualty. Okay. Is everybody dead now? Or at least none of them are dead? Good. Gone. Hi there! Quarians! Stop right there! Frosa, you said you'd let Tell me handle this! Oh, I, I bashed out my Shepherd? mic, I'm sorry. I'm not taking any Tully. chances with some of those operatives. Tully, Tully, Tully. Put those Tully. weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? I'll prove it's me. Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. 
This is definitely Commander Shepard. Good! Love me! Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Not working with... Uh, I didn't have a choice. I, really I nearly choice. died, Tally. Cerberus spent two years rebuilding me. They want me to investigate attacks on human colonies. Likely story. No organization would commit so many resources to bring back one soul. They did! You <laughs> haven't seen Shepard in action. <laughs> Trust me. It was money well spent. Damn straight it was. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young quarian named Vitor. He was here on pilgrimage. Why did Vitor come here? Isn't that a little strange? A quarian visiting a remote human colony? Yeah, a little strange. Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. Probably. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. We need to team up. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? Hey! No, Praza. You're working for, for me. me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. No, you're working for me! Head for the warehouse <laughs> through the center of the colony. God, I love Tali. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. It's good to be back. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. Uh, excuse me, Miranda. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Sounds like a plan. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Oh, Tali is like my sister. She's my sister from another mister. And another species. Oh, the Paragon. Oh, right. I haven't checked my Paragon. So Paragon already! I've almost got one full bar. A little bit of Renegade, mostly Paragon. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. You don't Thanks say. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of it. Oh, I love the objective meter. It makes everything so much better. Sleep mode ended. Dun 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 dun. Wait, uh oh. Ah, you bastard! Oh, and I can't open that now, can I? Gosh darn it, Nappa! Oh well. It's it's not like I need to worry about money or anything else, seeing as I have all of my stuff from the first game and I've got... Well, I don't think I have the money right now, but I will. I think you get like two million monies. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That button! That did... Full cut. Shut up, Jacob! Target down! You use overload! Yeah. Okay, fine. You know what? Miranda? Miranda, where are you? Miranda, have fun. Here we go. One left. Oh, that was almost bad. <laughs> Good thing they've only got shields, I guess. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. God damn it. to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Yeah, you probably should have. And now he's gonna die horribly. And it's his own damn fault. So... Everybody's gonna die. Where are you at, Tully? 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 Where's Tully? Um, can I not... Oh, there he is. Now it's letting me out. Target down! Ow! Ow! Ow. I keep getting rockets to Here the face, go. and that's bad for me. Where's that? There's that. Sorry, and it's dead. We are inside the loading docks. Oh, give me a minute, Tully. The heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. Oh no. They did want to get to Vito first. I just gotta point there. Into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. Okay. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Sure. You Affirmative. There. You, there. Grabbing cover! And of course I'm taking- I'm, Take I'm point, in charge! Shepherd. Why is Miranda telling me what to do? Why are 
Don't you enter cover! Run to cover, then shoot, you smart, silly bit. Oh. Ah! That's gonna give you a bad infection. Oh, there goes the Corians. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those Corians never stood a chance. Time to this take out the mech. one tough son of a bitch to take down. You don't say. Good thing we actually got under cover. I'm like Corians. Defense systems act. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Miranda, overload. Jacob, incendiary ammunition. Me, barrier. Overload to take out their shield. I know. I just told you to use it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, get up. Here. No, get up on here. There you go. Good girl. What do we got here? You got another one. Use some more of that. You use some more incendiary. I will use a warp. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Bye, Miranda! There we go. It's dead now. Gotta hurt! Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Just a smidgen of pain. Okay, more bypassing. Da, da. That one and that one. That one and that one. And that one and that one. Success! And I. I still had a whole lot of time. Hmm. Power cells. Power cells! Yay! Ooh, refined iridium. It's probably important. I want that. This is valuable. I said, this is valuable. I'm taking it. Anything else I can take? Vitor! Tolly! Tolly, I saw Tolly show up. Oh, well, let's go see Vitor. Vitor! Vitor, Vitor, Vitor. We need to have a discussion, Vitor. The monster's coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. There's no swarms, dude. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. You're safe. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. Have a hug. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Next one. Paragon action. Yay, Paragon interrupt. Owned. I'm a good hacker, apparently. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. We weren't here. We came after. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. That probably took a while. What the hell is that? Coffins. My God. I think it's a collector. That's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. So they're the boogeyman. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Aha! Uh -huh. They took them through the Omega-4 the Relay! The have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. Okay. So they're Reapers. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. How'd you, how'd you escape then? Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. It's got a point there! Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you freeze you sounds like miniature probes maybe 
find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. And then they take them away and... I want to know more them. about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Uh, Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. I plead the fifth, because I actually know, because I've beaten this series before, and I don't want to ruin it for people who haven't seen it. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Thank you, Vitor. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We dark need to get this data energy. to the elusive man. Thanks, Grab Vitor. the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not taking him with us. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything You're else. Cerberus. He returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's army <laughs> tool data, but please, just let me take him. You should join us, Tali. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. Nope. I want to, but I can't. Yep. I've got to we'll get her later. Own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. Sorry. When it's over... And I'm still alive. We'll see what happens. Do you need some help? That sounds dangerous. I can what help. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. Vitor goes to Tali. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tali will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Owned. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the order. For now. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. Okay. We're ready I love you, Tali. You're my sister from another species, mister. Also, I'm sweating so much right now because of how hot it is in my room that I'm sticky. <laughs> Shepard. And it's weird good work and awkward. On freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch, given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Having friends pays off. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. Well, maybe if they don't perceive you as a threat, because you were nice. You confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. You don't seem surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. You don't say. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Omega-4 relay. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. That's not good. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? Probably something bad. They're agents for the Reapers. It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? They're doing something horrible with them. What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers like and work with exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? Because he does. The patterns are there, buried in the data. Liar! The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the How Reapers do you are on know the better? march. We need to take the fight to them. Can't do it alone. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I I've already team? compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. 
Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. And I know I'll half of I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. What about Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Well, then dead. why is one of your dossiers him? Even we haven't been able to locate him. <laughs> Ashley. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Really? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clan. It's not Tali. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit. Oh, shut your face. There's Liara Tassani. She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. Two of You'll them are. Who you need. <laughs> I'm a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Okay, let's go. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. I want He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. I want Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. And the second thing? Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Really? Is he now? Someone you can trust. Sit, is he? Joker! <laughs> Sorry, I might have maxed out the microphone hey, again. Hey, Commander. Joker! Just like old times, huh? Joker, Joker, Joker. I can't Joker, believe Joker, it's Joker. you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Aww. Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Nope. Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> but they aren't all So you all don't bad. trust me? Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. Oh, now we get to see it. Last night. They told him last night. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've gone way over time, but I don't even care. This is the freaking Normandy, man. The freaking Normandy. Normandy SR2. Flying surface colors, but we can fix that. We can fix that. I just love the job. Be home, huh, Commander? Oh yeah, definitely good to be I home. Guess we'll have to give her a name. Uh, no name's better than the Normandy. Normandy, go! Go, Normandy, go! Attention, I am playing some Mass Effect 2. I'll see you all in the next video.